Happy New Year. Let's uh, start 2019 with mm, a little bit of a bang. This is the Sony MH755. It's a set that was never available uh, by itself, but was bundled with other items. I believe uh, smartphones, but I don't hold me to that. I don't know the full history of the set. Um, it has a right angle 3.5, two rings, so it doesn't have a, a inline control, which I'm happy because I hate that. It has a, a short cable, and it's all kinked up in ghetto. It's it's kind of fucked up. Um, also, left side is shorter than right side, and I hate that. Um, but that's something that happens sometimes with bundled uh, earphones. I, I'm not sure why, because if you're putting stuff in your pocket, this is really not long enough to be doing that. Um, so it's it doesn't seem like a a smart design to me at all. Comes with uh, two sets of tips, and I have the largest on it. Came with the mediums on it, I believe. Came in a plastic bag. Uh, ordered from Amazon JP and took longer than most stuff does, which is weird. I don't know why. Uh, looking at the body, it's made of plastic. It's a non-removable cable. Um, it's got a small breather hole on the top. Take the tip off. And you have a soft fabric. Um, that some of the Sony's have uh, in the nozzle. Put that back on. So these are about 15 bucks. Could be a little bit less, could be a little bit more, but I paid about 15 bucks for it. And it looks like shit. Um, and then I played this song right here, of Melissa, uh, by the Allman Brothers, and mm, was totally impressed. But it got better actually or depending on what you like it got worse um i listened to four songs i listened to the allman brothers the the, the little strumming on the acoustic while Dwayne allman is singing uh was fabulous mm, i was kind of dumbstruck this is where this and the other item the ibaso it0s were later compared and where i found these to be m much better where this had a nasally uh weird harmonic on the IT0S I think that's what they're called um this had a, just a very smooth replay of Neil Young who really bothers a lot of stuff um still loving you by the scorpions the guy I'm going to I'm going to learn his name someday his voice is very breathy on this time Dun, 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 like a guy on stage with the spotlight dropped straight on top of him um and then it goes into a full rock ballad hmm sound very nice uh and the last one that i listened to was bad finger uh baby blue the american remix and was just loving it and actually i, I listened to the four songs with this and the item that I was supposed to review today by my own schedule was the IBASO IT0S, which is get developing its own hype. So what I have here is two sets um, that have an, a hype. This is more of an overt uh, company has sent this to some people to review. Uh, other people are buying it. It's been released recently, and they are talking about burn-in. Let's talk about burn-in while we're here. I don't believe in burn-in and saying that something needs a hundred hours. Uh, this this thing's probably years old. Just came out of the plastic. Put it in my ear. Listen to it. Same as this. My brain is gonna like it or not like it. And this sounds better than this set on all four of those songs, particularly vocals. Um, in a hundred hours, is this gonna sound better than this? Two hundred hours. I've had the EX-1000s for years and listened to them for hundreds, if not over a thousand hours, and they're not any different than when I first got them. The treble peaks that might bother some people still exist. The bass is still relatively polite and flat. It does need and it does respond well to a 55 hertz EQ bump. The EX-1000 is what it was when I got it, and it's never, ever changed. Does this change after a couple hundred hours? I don't think so at all. I don't believe that at all. And by the way, these are both relatively new. These have about maybe six hours of raw, straight music listening 
broken up into different times, put together about six hours. This has about 35 minutes. And some of those minutes were A and B between these two sets, and I like this set better than I like that set. That costs $200, this costs $15. The cable sucks. The quality of the build is crap. Um, and I, I like it better than that. If, if I walked into a headphone shop, and I will be doing that for you guys, I'm going to be using this, that I, the one that I use for MMA training. I'm going to just start going into the headphone shop so you guys can get a feel of the dreamland that Japan can be for audiophiles. Um, and A and B stuff. A lot of people in there with me doing the same thing and making big decisions about expensive gear because they trust their ears and they use their own source and their own music and make a choice. If these two look like this, I wouldn't even pick this up. I wouldn't touch it. It looks like shit. It's fundamentally flawed in its design, in my opinion. But if they had the same look, like this is beautiful and this looked like that, and they were next to each other, and so I would naturally be putting them in my ear, especially if they're like the dynamic section, dynamic drivers. I'd pick this one over that one every single time if I used those four tracks. It really wouldn't even be that close. This is appealing and relaxing and comfortable, it sounds accurate. This doesn't compare to that. So this is not a critique on this set, it's a comparison between this two set. Which one would I pick if I walked into an earphone shop, which I'm going to show you by video. I have one on my channel already. Um, you can search it, if not, I'll link it to you. I did it years ago. It annoyed the hell out of people. But now I got a chest cam, so it'll be less uh, overt and obvious. If this looked like this, I would challenge them. Uh, I did not listen to this track. Maybe I will next time. I'd pick this one. There is uh there was an ideal years ago, and it was for the flat line, where there was no emphasis on anything, and you were just getting the strict playback as it was mastered, um, audiophile stuff. And the reality is that some people always thought, and this was some sound science people as well, to their credit, that the human loudness curve, that the, the way that you hear things, you hear bass better and easier than you do something at four kilohertz. It's a, it's a drop. It, the, they have something called the Harman curve now, which I have my questions about because it's been changed over the past four years to, by several dB in certain regions. So it's not a set standard. It is a growing being. And some people say that the way it's being grown by people with untrained ears, blah, 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 is not ideal. Anyway, the Harman curve is a lot better than what was the give me a flat line, because that doesn't make any sense. The Harman curve is almost a compensation. Like if you were to take the loudness curve for the human hearing and flip it up, the Harman curve would fit kind of good in there. So that makes a lot more sense. This apparently by graphs is pretty close to that curve. So I would say that the Harman curve is doing well because it actually is quite an appealing line if this is like the Harman curve and that's why some people are thinking that this must sound good um, and I'm I was just about to do a video about graphs and a rant and now I'm using it uh, as a explanatory point this is a case in point of that curve being probably pretty close to accurate for the average listener with decent average hearing. This sounds good. The bass sounds slightly elevated, 1 to 2 dB, but in a comfortable way. Um, the mid sound, not forward, not back, maybe slightly forward because it's definitely not back on the tracks that I listen to. And these are four vocal tracks. The Bad Finger track is vocal. Uh, this is a vocal track. Neil Young is a vocal track, and uh, Duane Allman, uh, Melissa, is a vocal track. And in all four of those tracks, this set sounded better than that set because of the curve. So to the credit of the people that are creating that curve, to the credit, I guess they're gathering data. Um, it looks like a good idea, and I think a lot of headphone companies would be advised to try to go for that as the ideal instead of these odd peaks that come with every company um, and just are not very appealing to a lot of people. So almost 10 minutes in, do I wreck this set? You fucking damn right I do. This is a very, very good set. Um, I have relationships with people within the community and some of them are mm, 
fragile. They're not strong. It's not like my homeboy said, hey, bro, get these. These are dope. And now I'm doing a video saying, my, my friend told me, get these. And these are awesome. I saw a guy that I'm not quite sure what I think about him. I'm sure he doesn't care about what I think about him and vice versa. But not sure about him. And he's a fan of this set. And he had it recabled. Uh, and he said it's real nice. And his final uh, opinion is private. It's like a, a joke, I guess, but I don't, I don't know if I get it. Um, so if I had thought this sounds like shit, I wouldn't feel bad to be doing a video saying that I thought these are crap and the hype was based on wishful thinking. These are actually really, really good, um, and they're very, very affordable, and you could use the extra money. So there's going to be a business for somebody that does recables of this set because I'm looking for somebody right now to do exactly what that guy did which was, he, I guess he got it two-pinned. That would probably be what, what I'd be interested in. So I'm going to contact Thomas at NCM and see if he can look at my video here and look at this set. Let me hold it up for you, Thomas. I'd like to re-terminate this. I'd like to get this out and put a two-pin, and I can show you a picture of the one that the other guy did um, if you want, and I'll send these to you to get redone these are nice cable sucks build quality is crap doesn't matter apparently um this is all about the music the music sounds quite good on this set it doesn't sound uh as good from that source on this set and this is going to get its own review and it was supposed to be today but because i'm the 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 the, 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 the i'm right here universe you know how it works. So instead of doing what I was supposed to do, I opened up the plastic bag, listened to this, and thought, these are good. Uh, listen to this, four songs. Wait a second, let me grab those. Compare them for four songs. Uh, I'm doing a video, and it's not the one I was planning on doing. Universe, me, in the center of it. Um, so Happy New Year. First video is uh, confirming uh, a hype. My opinion. My channel, universe, me, center. Um, if you can get your hands on a set of these, if you're a patron of mine, um, I might be able to get these for you. You got to pay for them, and you got to pay for shipping. This is a busy season, so you might have to wait. But uh, if you got any modding skills and you can recable this, um, I would highly advise that this is something that would be worth keeping in your collection for now and to eternity. Mm -hmm. Fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. And I'm out. Happy 2019. Um, somebody said your pointing is confusing me. The camera is actually here. And my finger's here. So my finger's in front of the camera, but my... So the camera is here, and then the lens, the thing to the screen is here. So it used to be that I had a Note 4, and where my hand was, was right in front and accurate. Now, the lens is on the left. I'm looking at a screen. It's confusing the fuck out of me. So if you're like, what are you pointing at? I'm, I'm sorry, man. I'm, I don't know sometimes. Um, <laughs> ghetto as fuck and sounds really nice. It's going to be recabled. I'm going to try to get it done, in, you know, really nicely. Um, if you see this video and you are a recabler, and I know you, uh, hit me up, because I'm going to try to hit somebody else up. But if you can do this, take a look at it. I'd like it to be 2-pin, or we, whatever. MMCX is fine. 2-pin, uh, actually, would be preferred. I'd like this set to be done. So if you can do that, let me know. Uh, you can do it in the comments section. And that's way too long of a video. No, it's not. It's an awesome set. Happy New Year. I'm out.